Our learning target for today is I can convert numbers between word form, standard form, and expanded form using my knowledge of place value. So we're going to look at all three forms today and put together everything you've learned over the past few days. And remember, we have to tie it all back to place value. So I've created a chart for us, and let's see if we can fill in the different forms of our numbers. Let's look at our first example. In our first example, we are given word form and we need to find standard form and expanded form. So I'm going to draw my place value organizer to help me switch from word form to standard form. So if you remember, let's draw this out. We have the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. So let's look at our word form and read it together. One hundred thousand. That's in our first section. So in our thousands cluster, we have one in the hundred thousands place, and that's it. So we fill in the other places with the value of zero, and that gives me 100,000. Now I have 400, so that tells me I need to put a four in the hundreds place. Six, six I know is plain old six ones. That also tells me I need to put a zero in my tens place. So I've written the standard form, 100,406, to match my word form, 100,406. So let me fill that in on our chart. Okay, now for expanded form. Let's look at our standard form to help us write the expanded form. So let's start in our hundred thousands place. We have one in the hundred thousands place. So we take that. Everything else can be changed to zeros. Plus, we are going to add that to our next amount. We don't have a number in the ten thousands place, so we don't have to put anything there. We don't have a number in the thousands place. We don't have to put anything there. So our next value is in a four in the hundreds place and everything else gets turned to zeros. So we have 400. We don't have a, a value in our tens place. There's a zero there. We could put a zero as a placeholder. We don't have to. And then we have six in the ones place. So we have 100,000 plus 400 plus six to give us 100,406. If we were to add that up, that would equal 100,406. Now let's move on to our second example. We're given the standard form this time. Our standard form, let's go ahead and switch it to expanded form. And that may help us with our word form as well. So let's start. For our standard form, we have 72,619. So let's start with our seven. This digit is in the ten thousands place, giving it a value of 70,000. We put our seven, everything else gets turned to zeros, plus a two in the thousands place is worth a value of 2,000. We put our two, everything else gets turned to zero, plus a six in the hundreds place, so that would be a value of 600 our six, everything else get past it gets turned to zero, plus a one in the tens place is worth 10, and a nine in the ones place is worth nine. So you have 72,619, 70,000, 2,000, 600, 10, and nine, and that would equal 72,619. Now let's see if we can change it to word form. So let's look at our first section, 72,000. That's 72 in the thousands section. So we have 72,000. 
thousand. Now, this number that we have left, six hundred nineteen. So I'll just write that as six hundred nineteen. So let's look again. 72,000 is represented here at 72,000. 70 plus 2,000. 619, we have 619. 600 plus 10 plus 9. Let's look at our final example. We are given expanded form. Let's see if we can turn that into standard form. So we have 300,000 plus 10,000, plus 1,000, plus 200, plus 10, plus 5. So I am going to help me out by myself out by writing it vertical and making sure I line up my place value. Now, if I were to add all of these together, you have all these zeros and five, all of these zeros and one, zero, 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 two, zero, zero, one, zero, one, and a three. And that gives us our standard form. So we have 300,000, 10,000, 1,000, 200, 10, and five. If I were to take it and just check myself on a place value chart, I see that I have a three in the hundred thousands place. I have a one for 10,000. I have a value of 1,000. I have a value of 200, 10, and five. So I have 311,215. Now, to write that in word form, let's take our first group 311 so i'm going to write 300 11 and i know that this is in the thousands section so it would be 311000 then i see 215 so i'll write 2 Hundred fifteen. So we have three hundred eleven thousand, which is represented here, which is represented as three hundred plus ten thousand plus one thousand, two hundred fifteen, two hundred fifteen, two hundred plus ten plus five, three hundred eleven thousand, two hundred fifteen. Let's look back at our learning target for today. I can convert numbers between word form, standard form, and expanded form using my knowledge of place value. Now you are going to try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.